Um, at this point I've done kind of the easier ones that only have two members and all the others have three or more members. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go to B next. So label my work F B D at B. So we're going to draw that free body diagram. Here's B. It has this external force of 15 going straight at it. Um, it's going this way has a force vector going towards C. Here's one going towards A. And then there's also one going straight to the right towards D. Now, when we figure out the angles for this, we're only interested in the angles with respect to horizontal lines. So we're going to probably want to figure out this angle here and also this angle here. This angle, we actually already know because this is 71.565 degrees and this angle is going to be the exact same because we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Alternate interior angles are the same. So 71.565. Um, this one we do not know yet, so that's going to be what we need to do first uh, before we can truly complete this free body diagram. All right. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead and drop a altitude right here and draw that triangle. So we have point B here and it's going to go over just a little bit and then there's our altitude and here's this side here. So right angle there uh, and we need to figure out um, what this angle B is right here uh, and it's actually we're figuring out the measure of angle C, B, D. We want to know just this one right there. Okay, so measure C, B, D. We know the height, again, is 6. And if we go back to um, our most upgraded diagram, we can figure out that this right here um, is 1. And I can figure that out because I know from here to here is 3 and we already talked about how this is 2 so therefore this must be 1. Okay, so hopefully you know the drill by now. Um, the tangent of angle B is opposite over adjacent, 6 over 1. So we're going to do inverse tangent, tangent the negative first, of 6 since that's what that equals and it's going to give us our angle. So inverse tangent of 6 and we get 80.538 degrees. Alright, and so we'll label that in here. This right there is 80.538 degrees. Uh, we can also put that on our final answer here. 80.538 degrees. Okay, so we're using the same two formulas, the sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero. I just always start with that one, you certainly don't have to. All right, what do we have going on in the x direction? Well, we have 15, that's positive because it's going to the right. We have BD, that's also positive, plus the force of BD. It's positive because it's going to the right. Um, we have AB, now AB is going to the left. It's also going down. So it's going to be minus the force of AB, and we only want the part that's going to the left, so we're going to multiply it times cosine of its angle, 71.565 degrees. Not done yet, because BC is also an x-directional force. It's going to the right, so it's positive, um, but we only want the part that's going to the right, so we're going to have to multiply it, force BC, by the cosine of 80.538. So, we're definitely going to need to come back to this one um, because there are things that we don't know. Uh, we do know the force of AB, so we can fill that in. 0 equals 15 plus force BD, we don't know yet, minus, uh, let me look at my final answer sheet here. Um, 
force of AB, 80.64, compression, that means it's negative. So negative 80.64 times cosine 71.565 degrees. And I'll copy the rest here. So that's actually going to end up to be plus right there. All right. Uh, but I still have more than one unknown, FBD and also FBE, um, BC, excuse me. Those are both unknown, so I'm going to have to go and do the Y. For whatever reason, it often turns out that the sum of the forces in the Y direction gives you an answer faster. Maybe I'll do the next one with the Y direction first. We'll just see. All right, so zero equals. What's going in the Y direction? Um, just AB and BC because this is just x direction and so is this. So AB is going in the y direction and since it's going down, that's the way we drew it, that's right, it's negative. So minus the force of AB, but we only want the part that's going down, so you guessed it, we're going to multiply by the sine of 71.565 degrees. So let me just write that in here, times sine 71.565 degrees. All right, there's also the force of BC. That's a Y directional force, part of it. It's going down, so minus the force of BC. And we only want the vertical part of it, so times sine 80.538. Okay, um, you might think, oh, we have two unknowns. What are we gonna do? But actually, remember, we know FAB. Zero equals negative, and just like we filled them up here, FAB is negative 80.64. So we have two negatives in a row. You gotta keep track of your negatives. Use parentheses, that's gonna help you. Um, all right, so, try and show as much work as I can. There's always a, a balance to be struck between not showing enough work for the people who really need it and showing too much work. Um, that it actually gets confusing. So um, let's just do some of this math here. Zero equals. All right, this is going to be plus, but if you really want, you can type it in as negative, negative 80.64 times sine 71.565. And I get 76.50. And over here, minus FBC times sine. 80.538 degrees. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add this whole part over to the other side. So I'll have positive FBC times sine 80.538 degrees equals 76.5 and then divide both sides by sine 80.538 degrees. Over here it cancels out. Over here you actually need to do that so FBC equals 76.5 divided by sine 80.538 and we get 77.56 newtons of force and that is a tension force and now we can plug that FBC back up here Okay, so when we plug the force of BC back in, we get zero equals 15 plus FBD, we still don't know that one, plus 80.64, you could leave it as minus negative if you really wanted to, times cosine 71.565 degrees, Plus, now we know FBC is 77.56. So plus 77.56 times cosine 80.538 degrees. Okay? Um, so maybe I'll move FBD over so it's in that very first position. And then I have plus 15. Let's, let's figure out what each of these is. Plus, 
and we'll do 80.64 80.64 times cosine 71.565 and I get 25.5 that shortens that and then over here plus I'll type that in 77.56 times cosine 80.538 and I get 12.75 alright and so 0 equals F B D plus we gotta add all those up 15 plus 25.5 plus 12.75 and we get 53.25 and then we subtract that over and we have F B D equals negative 53.25 newtons of force so that is compression and we circle that alright and so we fill those in on our final answer F B C we fill in as 77.56 newtons of force, and that's tension. And FBD, 53.25 newtons of force, and that's compression.